Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. Remember every single day to make sure that you let people know how you can help them and where to go. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the podcast. It's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit an inspiration. And if you haven't checked out my new endeavor, uh, go to at drink light pink on Instagram. That's at drink L I T E P I N K because this is like a massive crash course in starting a company. I'm so incredibly excited to be starting this light wine seltzer company. It is a rosé flavored light wine seltzer. It's like two grams of sugar, a hundred calories. Um, so freaking delicious. My favorite thing to drink because I don't feel weighed down or crappy the next day. You guys are going to love it. And we have a non-alcoholic version so that we can all hang together no matter what. If you don't drink, if you're pregnant, all of the things we can still have rosé because who doesn't like rosé? If you don't, we can't be friends anymore. That's okay. I'm just kidding. I still love you. It's fine. You can drink orange juice. You can have OJ. I'll have rosé. That's same, right? Okay. So getting into the podcast today, we are going to talk about two things. 
super basic. We're going to break this down. We're keeping it really simple. These are two things that are going to help you in your personal brand, your coaching brand, your business brand, or maybe like me, you're launching a product or you want to start some sort of empire. Doesn't really matter. This is going to help. It all starts here. I have two things for you and it is around marketing. So let's talk about marketing because it's like one of the most important things that you can do in your business, right? You can have this product all day long, but if you don't talk about it, nobody's going to buy it and nobody cares. So a lot of you, even if you don't have a product and maybe you're starting something on Instagram or you have an idea or maybe you don't have an idea yet, but you know that you want to do something, um, the biggest thing that you can do is start thinking about building an audience. And if you build an audience that is authentically from the place of who you truly are authentically, most likely, I don't care what product you have, you're probably only going to launch something that feels authentic to you. So as long as you built that audience authentically, meaning by you being you right now online, then by the time you have that thing, you'll have a pretty decent foundation to be able to launch on. Does that make sense? You don't have to have the thing in mind to start actually building the most important thing. And that is the people that this is going to land on. So you don't have to have a product to start building trust. And trust is what people buy off of, right? You don't have to have a product to start building trust. So with that said, let's talk about marketing. Marketing is simply this. It's letting people know how you can help them. So right now, letting people know how you can help them if you have nothing means that you can talk about your past experiences and how you've gotten through them. You can be super vulnerable and show up how you and share how you've created solutions to problems. So these are two beautiful ways to be able to start sharing or letting people know how you can help them. Now, I want to take this to a step two. I just heard that from uh, Jennifer Kim, who just taught uh, at our mastermind. Actually, I'm on break during a virtual mastermind right now recording this quickie. So we just did like a five-hour session. I'm on a break um, and I'm going to go back down and finish out the day. So with that said, I was so inspired by what she said. She said, marketing is letting people know how you can help them. And I want to take that further and say, marketing is letting people know how you can help them daily. So every single day you need to be on there. And she talked a lot about brand consistency. So what makes a brand work is the brand consistency. That doesn't just mean every day. Consistency means consistency in your voice, in your message. So let's talk about this because a lot of times we're not thinking about what we're going to post until we post it or what we're going to write on the blog or what we're going to put out or what our sale is going to be or how we're going to launch, which is the biggest pitfall and the biggest mistake. And I've made it over and over and over again. And I watch myself wanting to make it because I'm like, eh, you know what? My good now at this point in my career is some other people's version of great. But let me tell you, I'm never going to reach my great if I just keep on saying, eh, you know what? I can just show up and kind of like post something for the day. That's not an actual plan. So let's talk about this. And I know a lot of you feel that way too. And if you're not there, you eventually will be there. And you know what? The fact that you're even listening to this podcast in this phase puts you far ahead of where I was because I was not doing any of this when I was just throwing shit at the wall. So congratulations on being way ahead and being proactive and listening to this podcast, um, getting your business ahead or whatever that is, that goal is. So let's talk about it. I said two things, right? So number one in marketing, you need to build your plan. You need to build a schedule. You need to understand what your company's personality is. Like what are the traits of your personality and of your company's personality or your personality if you are the brand? And what are your core values? So build your schedule around those things. So what happens a lot of times is that we will start to look at other brands, right? And Jen Kem talked a lot about this. We can, uh, she does um, brand archetypes. So you can check her out at Jennifer. I think it's jennifer.kem.com. Um, or you can look her up on Instagram, Jennifer Kem. So she does brand archetypes. So she gets way more specific on this, but it, essentially like a brand personality and you can take a quiz as well. Um, so with that said, what is your company's brand personality traits and core values. And you're going to build a schedule around how you're going to let people know every single day how you can help them. 
So on Monday, let's say that you're a coach, right? On Monday, let's say that you are a coach and on Monday you need to set up your schedule. You're setting it up for 30 days and you're writing for Monday the 1st because it just so happens to be that lucky... The the first falls on a Monday that month and it works perfectly with my podcast. <laughs> so you're going to talk about community building because that's important as a coach. And you're going to talk about how community building helps people, how it can help them in their business, um, how it got you through a problem. And then you're also going to tell people how you help people community build. So maybe you're going to give the three steps to community building and also share that this is something that you coach on and really help people get to the heart of. So there's Monday. You're going to talk all about that on your stories. You might write a short email about it and you're going to do a post about it with a really pretty community picture. So then Tuesday, you are going to talk about organization and clarity and how this is actually a huge problem that most entrepreneurs have or people have in these different, you know, whatever business it is, right? Like this is a universal truth. Um, talking about how clear or lack of organization or lack of clarity can stop them from doing X or how they can get or three steps to quick organization, three small exercises or one small exercise they can do to get more clear. And you're going to talk about this in a post on a story and to your email or whatever that looks like. You are going to let them know how you personally help them and you're going to remind them of where they can find you or sign up or follow you to get this help. Is this making sense? So you're literally going to build your schedule. So I said there's two huge things about marketing that people are missing. Number one was building your plan and schedule, exactly like I said, to be so clear, you know exactly what you're doing every single day and you build that content out as far ahead as you can, even if it's just a week, sometimes even if it's just three days, I've been there. And then you're always going to remember every single day to make sure that you let people know how you can help them and where to go. So remember that by doing this, by knowing the personality trait of your traits of yourself, meaning like what is your north star? If you could say your brand was a person, what are the north star personality traits about this? You're going to write from that place. So for me, um, mine is uh, connection and fun are two of my most important personality traits that I would say of my company. There's many, many different ways to do this. And I'm actually going to go through um, a lot more brand clarity that I'll share around in a bit. But you're always going to write your posts and talk to your community from those places. So you no longer have to be like, oh, wait, she's doing that over there or talking like this. Maybe I should do that. Because remember that the most successful brands are consistent, not just by time or by how many times they post, but by voice as well. Consistency plays such a role, not only in how often, but how consistent the voice, right? How much do they still feel like they can trust you? It doesn't mean that you can think you can say, if you say one thing one day, you can't say it the next day. If your brand consistency is, I'm going to be as truth-telling as I can, which means one day I might feel totally different than the next, that's still consistency because your brand can your consistent brand message and personality is authenticity, right? Is authenticity. So you have to kind of figure out what is that brand message and voice and how can you be consistent with that every single day? So you guys, two things for marketing, build your plan and then remember to let people know how you can help them every single day, right? Where they can find and follow you to do that. So I hope that that helps you get clear. I hope that that makes you realize that you're like, huh, maybe it's not as hard as I thought. Maybe I could build that plan. Maybe I could pick those same themes on Monday. Maybe Mondays are always my community building posts and why they're important and what I do in in my business to help you build yours. Maybe Tuesdays are me always talking about organization and clarity, lack of, or how to sharing a story and sharing how I can help them and where they can get that help. Maybe Wednesdays are always about making an impact and how they can do that bigger and how I can help them make a bigger impact to make more money or whatever that looks like. So you guys, so much easier than just going and being like, I've got nothing to say. I don't know. And then not posting anything. So that's huge, you guys. Brand consistency in your voice 
and just showing up. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, let me know what you took from this. I love, love, love when you follow at Earn Your Happy on Instagram. Also, you know what? You're following anyway. So just go. Or if you just followed Earn Your Happy, which I don't know why it took you th- this long. I'm just kidding. Good Lord. It's I did not talk about my Instagram for like ever perhaps. So what I would love is if you'd go follow that because I would love to let you know how I can help you get posts, really cool uh, quotes about the podcast. (laughs) I'm taking my own advice right now. And then follow at Drink Light Pink. And also, you know that if you do stories, I'm probably going to share you and shout you out. So I love you guys so much. You mean the world to me. I love hearing your thoughts on the podcast, what you're learning, um, how this helped. And I hope that I have been able to be a consistent voice on the podcast for you just to lean into and know like, girl, we are so doing this together. Like for real, I know we're on that walk together. I know we're running together. My only wish is that I would like get the benefits of your run while I sit my ass in this podcast chair. So once we figure that out, we're going to be BFFs for life. So send in your love until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought and honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, all I'm so excited to share with you. Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built 
for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you want to create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're going to customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com.